Hello and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations 2. Final episode. Episode number 4. You're perfect. <coughs> Six months from now, <coughs> you're going to awaken as me. And the world is going to be very afraid. So good night, my darling. Sleep well. All this time wasted. My whole life has been a prelude to this. My true birth. Time to meet the cause of our misery. What is this place? Okay, Doesn't now let's <laughs> find the overseer. Um I would like to apologize sincerely for my mistake as of calling Albert Vesker for Alex Vesker. This whole playthrough. I had completely forgotten that his name is Albert, not Alex. Yeah. Look, uh, changing the sluices there. The sluice so changed the direction of the water. Big. Yeah, but where? I don't recognize the place. It's so that uh, we can get a couple of items with uh, Barrett, Barry later on. Let's just grab this. Uh, <laughs> the section where we play as Moira and Claire in this final episode is kind of short. Yeah, it's a little bit lackluster, to say the least. <clears throat> well, it's the master chamber. Notes on the transfer pro procedure. The transfer will take place soon, and my success is nigh. Spencer, you poor, pathetic old man. You spent your final years desperately searching for the secret to immortality, and you died while your research was still incomplete. But I have been continuing that research. The body will age, this is an inescapable fact, but we can escape our death by transferring our mind into another vessel. All of my efforts have been invested into developing and refining this system. If I've... Uh, um, I've had a few successes, but I still have so much more to do before I can consider my work to be complete. As of now, I can confirm the following. 1. The new vessel must be mentally strong and be able to overcome any emotions of fear. 2. After the transfer, it will take 6 months before the transferred mind can be stabilized. During this time, the vessel should be protected at all costs. Time is of the essence. I'm sure what quickly. do you make of it? I don't know. I just can't figure the Overseer out. Stuart, it looks like the most suitable vessel is going to be that little girl after all. The other candidates had potential, but that girl is an entirely different class. She is incapable of feeling fear. That's not surprising when you consider what she's been through. Getting caught up in the Terra Grigia panic at such a young age, having everyone she knew be killed, losing her parents right in front of her eyes. After experiencing those kind of horrors, what left is there to be afraid of? The only problem is her age, but that's a problem that time will care, of for, care will take care of for us. She's the perfect candidate for your purposes. Hmm. For some Kafka, I have a love-hate relationship with this story. Perhaps I can relate to it more closely than I'd like to admit. One morning, Gregor awakens to find himself transformed into a hideous insect-like creature. His family is bewildered at first, but they do try to take care of him. Eventually, he becomes too much of a burden to them, nothing more than an ugly monster, a nuisance to the family. When Gregor learns of this, he retreats to a solitary death. Up until his transformation, Gregor had been supporting the family. Now that he was no longer useful, he was a burden to them. They were relieved when he died. 
I too have been bred to serve a purpose. Once that purpose accomplished, I too would have been a cast aside. But I refuse to shrivel up and die in solitude. I refuse to let myself become a hideous monster. You must have felt the same way too, Albert. Yeah. Yeah, I met his fate against Chris. Okay, let's just break a couple more vases. And grab the items. And move this away. Alright, oh, I need to empty it first. Now we can move it aside. And activate the lever. Come on. There you go. Alright, we're through. Let's hurry. Yes, let's. Let's get up there to the overseer. Look at this place. It reminds me a little bit of Garovagan from Final Fantasy XII. We meet at last. You came all this way just to say goodbye. Oh, I'm touched. It's already done. I've conquered fear and earned the right to become a god. Uh-huh. Come out from behind that glass so I can choke a god. <laughs> All that remains is one final test, one last threshold to cross. Is she even listening to us? Nope. My brother's escape was death. And soon, it will be mine as well. I will share in his fate, and then I will surpass him. What are you uh -huh. trying to do? Oh, just wait and see. Escape. Yeah, okay. It was that just easy. Like that. Okay, let's get out of here. Yes, you do. Fine. Back to the elevator. Hurry! I am not sharing a coffee with that nut job. <laughs> Quite right. You're not gonna do that. We are getting the hell out of here. There's no countdown yet, and there's not that many enemies uh, to be fighting it either. There's a couple of uh, liars. That's about it. And they're not that easy to know this. No. Can I make smoke bombs? No, I don't have any powder. I think I'll get some powder a little bit later on. Uh, let's get to the elevator. Oh, it left without us. How oh, unfortunate. There's a passage down below. Find another route. On it already. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> Basically, the entire part where you play as both Moira and Claire here is to just escape the tower. And it should take more than, well, less than half an hour, including all the cutscenes. Okay, let's just quickly take these and check out here. Uh, nothing. Let's just pass that over. And that. Yeah. Firebomb bottle. Firebomb bottle. <laughs> and also, there was a little rhyme going on. Break. And. Bro oh, come on. There you go. <clears throat> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can't leave it out this. Whatever this was. I can't really remember. <laughs> 
Are you kidding me? So close. It's so far away. There you go. Is it this one? It is! Magnum ammo case! <coughs> <coughs> exactly what I needed. Oh, man. Ah, there you go, smoke screen. Let's just pass it over immediately. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, fuck! Oh, you don't want to know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, never mind that. Just gonna leave it be. Uh, I think it's over there, actually. Ah, uh, found it. Bloody hell. Burn? Yeah, good. Ooh, there was actually one more. Huh? I could hear it flying by. Yeah, I know. Right. I just tag that. Okay, and now we have that timer on us as well. Yes, you did. Uh, I don't quite remember what was down in that one. And thinking that we've just found a magnum ammo case up above, it just strengthens my fear that there is a new game plus in this game as well. Just like in 5 and... I think there's something like that in 6 as well. Careful. You only have one chance of getting this one. No! Are you kidding me? Come on. No, don't stress out now. Where the fuck is it? Finally, one. I'm not gonna get it, am I? Ah, finally. Was that all? 2,000 p DP. Yay. Okay, let's just make a run for it. Okay, let's no need to dilly-dally around. Uh, break that. Come on. Yeah, another smoke screen. We need that. I think we ne will need that. And we will be facing at least two more of those... Uh, Flying bastards. I know they're not called stalkers. Uh, it starts with a G, the name of the monsters. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I saw it when I got an achievement with Barry. That was once I killed 20 of them. I can see the name there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I'm hurrying. You swear? Good. Keep going! Keep going, Moira. Yeah, um... Uh, the reason I'm using Moira in this stage is because we'll be using her uh, quite a lot. For example, um, the two chests we opened so far. And there's more down here. Let's see, now you just spam, <coughs> press E, and Claire is here to, well, help us up. Even though she was far behind. Quite useful. Hang tight. I'll figure something out. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's get the next one. And just wait for her to do her job. Really? Yeah, I'm working on it. Let's just push this out of the way. Come on. Good. 
And I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. I don't think there's anything here. Also, the music in the background, it reminds me of... Uh, I think it's called the Imperial March in... Uh, what's it called? Star Wars. Whoa, shit. Yeah, I'm taking my time here. Which I shouldn't be. <coughs> oh shit. I should be getting close to another monster. Should be down here somewhere. I'm not gonna jump this one though. Too high. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chill, Moira. You got all the time in the world. One down, should be one more nearby. Not exactly sure where. Ah, you go this way. Over there? Yeah. Come on, let's get it going. The duck, bloody hell. Duck. You think so? And that's it for this episode. She saved us. We are just gonna leave her behind. There's nothing we can do for her now. God help me. And let's take the jump. Plunge into the abyss down below. Accuracy. Ah, yeah. I can understand why that was so bad. I could have done better in clear time as well. I could have. A on 12 minutes. I guess you need 10 minutes or less to get an S. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm ending it here then. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time for Barry's part. In episode 4, goodbye.